Welcome back to Not So Grand Garage. You might recognize this Jeep sitting here behind me. As uh, I've done another video on it, servicing it out and everything. But uh, yeah, it's back. And the reason for that is I was servicing it out this year, going over everything on it, and noticed, if you look down in here, we've got some crusty buildup on the side of the block. After doing a little bit of digging, Behind that crusty buildup is a freeze plug that has rotted out. So, it has been seeping coolant. He noticed that he was losing a little bit of coolant over the year. Um, this thing doesn't get driven all that much. But, uh, yeah, we're going to roll it outside. We're going to knock that freeze plug out, flush the cooling system, flush the block out real good, and uh, get it fixed. Let's get at it. I went on and pulled the coil bracket off, set it up here so it's out of the way. And get you down here, got this cleaned up. As you can see, we've got a hole right through that plug. There is a bunch of sludge behind it as well. So I'm gonna go on and drill another little hole in it and uh, see if I can get my uh, seal puller, which is a common tool used to knock these out. See if I can get my seal puller down in there and uh, pop that one out and see what we're looking at as far as junk behind it. So here is our problem child. As you can see, there was a hole clean through it. And uh, all I did was take this right here, typical seal puller, slide down in here, went through the hole and just worked it out. Came out pretty easy. But uh, yeah, looks like we've got a little bit of a buildup in our uh, cooling system here as in it's completely solid so i'm gonna scrape some of this away as uh, best i can and then i'm gonna hook the hose up and start flushing this out until we can get as much of that nasty stuff out as possible then we'll knock our new freeze plug in and uh, should be good to go apparently apparently from the uh, research i've done on this before i tore into it this is the most common one to start leaking i guess with how the engine sits in here and the angle of everything all the sludge tends to end up right behind this one and it just sits there and rots it out especially if you don't keep a good strong coolant mix in it or antifreeze mix in it because the uh the antifreeze does have anti-corrosion properties but uh yeah anyways i'm gonna get the hose hooked up and see how much crap we can flush out of this block Interesting. Radiator's full, but nothing flowing out of that hole. Okay try something else here
it is pretty solid in there. That's uh, interesting. Let's see what I can come up with. So I ended up pulling the thermostat housing and this upper freeze plug because they're both really easy to get to. But this is plugged completely solid right here. So there's a, I can stick my finger down through this one, but there's a blockage all around this, all the way around the bottom of this. And there is a bunch of material down there. So I'm gonna try to work something down from the top, see if I can knock as much of this loose as I can, flush it out as best I can. Then I'll, uh, then I'll clean it up and uh, put the new plugs in it. Go from there. So, we got this cleaned out. We've got good water flow between the ports now. I got as much as the sludge and stuff out of this as I could, but uh, got good coolant flow all through the system now. So, we've got our uh, new freeze plugs. And uh, from a tip I've read online, I'm going to use a uh, little bit of JB Weld or something along those lines. I think that's what I've got laying in there right now. But uh, they suggest putting it around the outside edge of these because the block down in here with its age and everything will get pitted and what have you and they will tend to leak. So I'm going to coat this edge with uh, JB Weld or something similar. Set it in and then uh, knock the center, which will set pressure out on the lip. That should seal it up. We'll give it a few hours to uh, set up and uh, it should pretty well be good to go. We'll reseal the thermostat housing, uh, finish flushing everything out, and uh, yeah, fill it back up with distilled water and antifreeze this time. So anyways, we'll uh, keep at it. One down, one to go. got both plugs back in we center hit the uh, middle of the plug which will expand the plug out slightly let it bite into the block a bit we uh, sealed all the way around the edges with a little bit of JB weld marine grade which is uh, this right here it's what I had laying around it should uh, work just fine but I'm gonna give it a few hours I'm gonna go on and uh, remount the coil and all that stuff, get the thermostat housing bolted back on. And uh, like I said, we'll give it a couple hours anyways, and I'll come back out later tonight and put uh, coolant in the uh, cooling system. We got uh, two gallons of uh, extended life concentrate, two gallons of distilled water, that should be plenty. But uh, we'll fill it up with a little stronger mix in 50-50, and it should be good to go for a good long time. But uh, Anyways, I'll bring him back out here later tonight, but it'll probably be in the shop by that point. So we're back out in the shop tonight, and uh, it's, uh, it's another day. I ended up waiting, letting this sit overnight so uh, that epoxy would have plenty of time to cure. But uh, yeah, went on and got the coil and everything put back on, thermostat housing, got the hose and everything hooked up. Uh, everything is looking good down in there. Everything looks to have cured properly. So now I'm going to come around here and make sure I close this uh, radiator drain, which I have. And we'll go on and uh, start filling this thing back up. Like I said, I'm going to go a little heavy on antifreeze. And uh, yeah, we'll fill it up, get it running, let it warm up, and uh, take it for a drive.
doesn't seem to be taking any more so come down here put a little light on the situation make sure we're not leaking I don't see any spots forming so uh, we'll go on and fire it up let it warm up a little bit and uh, see if we can get that thermostat to open up get water circulating and if all goes well we'll take it for a drive We've got coolant flowing, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna go on and put this cap on. And I'm gonna clean up this little bit of a mess, and hopefully, we're gonna take this thing for a little drive before it starts raining. Uh, barely getting ready to start pouring and uh, I'm not seeing any new drips or any leaks so uh, yeah I think we got this one pretty well uh, beat No leaks, all dry around the block. I think we're good there. I'm gonna shut this thing down and let it cool completely down. And we'll top the cooling system off. I'll put a little extra in the uh, overflow jug and we'll uh, call it good. We topped out just a tick under 180, which is uh, just fine. So I was uh, running it pretty hard, make sure it wasn't gonna get hot. I'm not uh, seeing any new drips from anything so uh yeah i think we are good to go i'll let this uh like i said i'll let this cool off and then i'm going to uh put a little bit in his overflow bottle here make sure the system is topped up and he should be good to go the uh, cooling system's holding pressure, so that's a good sign. It's got pressure on it. I'm not seeing any drips, so I think we've got our leaks fixed. But, uh, yeah, I'm not going to bore you all too much more with uh, what i got left to do. It's uh, not very interesting. So we'll wrap this up here. If you uh, got any complaints, questions, comments, drop them in the comment section below. If uh, you would, hit that like button. It really helps us out and doesn't cost you anything. If you want to support the channel, there is a PayPal account set up. Link to that is in the video description, as well as we've got Super Thanks enabled. You can go that route as well. If you haven't already, please subscribe. We appreciate you watching.